Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. So in today's video I'm going to be starting a brand new series, it's called A Beginner's Guide to Scratch. So if you have never ever used Scratch before then this is the perfect series for you. We're going to start right from the beginning and we're going to learn everything there is on Scratch. So if you haven't already make sure to subscribe. Right. At the start of every lesson, I'm going to put up a, a list of goals, and these are today's goals. So first of all, we're going to define what coding is, be familiar with the coding interface, and we're going to learn about sprites, learn about backdrops, know the function of a few blocks, and we're also going to code a simple conversation between two sprites. So let's get started. Okay, so we are in Scratch, and if you have Scratch on your computer, you can always follow along with what I'm doing. But first, we need to... First of all, go way back to the beginning, and we need to think about what coding even is. So coding is basically a set of instructions telling a computer what to do. So for example, if you are playing a video game, if there is no code in the video game, then it will just be a blank screen. So uh, Scratch is a programming language, and we can use uh, that to code. So here we are in Scratch. Uh, this may look very unfamiliar, but over the side here is all these different categories of blocks. There's lots of them, we will learn about each of the blocks separately, so uh, we're going to talk about that later. And then down here is where the uh, test screen is, so you can, uh, when you're testing your scripts, uh, you can see what's happening there. And this right here is called a sprite, it's sort of like a character on Scratch. So th by default you already have the cat, we are going to keep the cat there and then uh, we're going to code it using these blocks. So what what we're going to do is simply uh, we can go into events and this is going to be our first block. This is when green flag is clicked. So basically when this green flag up here is clicked then the, the program will run. So that is, is that block and we are also going to uh, use this block first and this basically says hello for two seconds. Let's drag that in and let's see what happens when we press the green flag. So there you go, it says hello for two seconds. Right, now we can look at this block, which basically is the exact same thing. It says something, but it says it basically forever. So we don't have to say hello, we can always change it. I'm going to say hi instead. And we can test that out. There we go high and it just keeps doing it. If you want to stop a program you can always use this uh, red dot up here or it's not really a dot, it's an octagon and you can use that to stop the program. Okay, Th that is basically your first program on Scratch. Now we can also think, so th uh, this think block is basically instead of a speech bubble it's a think bubble, so like so. And then this block is the exact same as a say block, except it's also in a think bubble. So there you go, that's the first four look blocks on Scratch. And uh, they're purple, as you can see, and you have to join the blocks on Scratch. So, for example, if I did this, it will work. Nothing will happen, you have to join them, it's sort of like a puzzle. Right, uh, now uh, we want to move into something a bit more complicated. We're going to look at costumes. So, a sprite has lots of different costumes. So. Uh, this one has two, for, for example, now, and we can create costumes, but well, we're not going to do that in today's lesson. So basically, look at costume two, it's hopping on one foot. Costume one, uh, it's still on both feet. So we can always alternate between these costumes in code. What we can do is, let's start a new script, we'll go when green flag clicked, and then we can use this block, which is next costume, and it basically switches the costume, uh, if you look on the top right of the screen. There you go, it's switching, and we can also use this block, so you can actually s select a specific costume you want to switch to, so switch costume to costume 2, if I press that again, it will always set costume 2, switch it back to costume 1 like so. So that is basically costumes on Scratch, for every sprite, even if the sprite doesn't have costumes when you first have it, you can always create your own. Right, how do you even uh, create a sprite? Uh, you're asking me so you can go down here and it says choose a sprite and you can simply go into here and it also says choose a sprite so that is the library there are lots of other uh, ways you can create sprites but I am not going to get into them so as we can see we just click that button and we have this big library here with uh, uh, all these different sprites we can choose it's really up to you so uh, for a start I'm just going to choose let's say let's choose a dinosaur because why not Okay, then we've got a dinosaur. We can always drag it about in the screen. 
like so. So we'll 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 do it like so. And that is basically a dinosaur. Right. And now we're gonna learn about the stage. The stage currently right now is white, so we can click on the stage here, go up here and we don't need to code the stage, we can go into backdrops. And as you can see, uh there is just a simple white backdrop and uh, we probably want something a bit more exciting so we can either go down here and press choose a backdrop or we can go here and choose a backdrop so I'm going to go and choose uh, let's say we choose I don't know a nice plain one let's say just a beach a dinosaur and a cat on a beach so there we go uh, and we need to always click back into the sprite because uh, right now we are going to actually code uh, the backdrop and we don't want to do that we want to give the sprites individual code Okay, so that is basically a backdrop, and you can also change between backdrops uh, using uh, these two blocks. So this first block s switches the backdrop to backdrop one, switches back to the white background. Uh, switch backdrop to the beach, it switches to the beach. And next backdrop is the exact same as this one, I do not know why there's a separate block for it. And then there's also a previous backdrop, and then there's random backdrop which are very uh, self-explanatory. So previous goes back to uh, backdrop one, and then a random, it, it chooses randomly. So, right, there are those blocks. Now, now uh, we want to look at one more block, and it is the weight block. So weight block, basically, uh, it pauses, it does nothing for a certain amount of time. So uh, let's say we do a nice script here. We'll go say hello for two seconds, then we're gonna say bye for two seconds and we'll do a wait block so watch the cat so it says hello it does nothing for one second and then it says bye so you can obviously adjust this so you do let's say two seconds and it will basically do the exact same but it will pause longer and that is incredibly useful in scratch i use it a lot and we are going to use it for our first uh, program with these two sprites. We're going to uh, have a basic conversation between them as if they're speaking to each other. I chose the dinosaur because it's facing left and the sprite is facing right, so it, it looks more uh, realistic. So we're going to start off by coding the cat first. We're going to go when green flag clicked. We're going to give the dinosaur when green flag clicked. And then after uh, we can just say something, we can uh, say and let's just say what, uh, let's give a mav some, what's one toss one, and then uh, we can wait two seconds, we're going to give two seconds for each of the sprites, so we're going to wait two seconds, and then we go back to the dinosaur, we don't want the dinosaur to say anything to start off with, so we're going to wait two seconds, and then after that we are going to do a think, and then we actually want four seconds, because then we want the dinosaur to respond, and then we can say, let's give a wrong answer, let's say six, even though it's not six, and then we can go back to the cat here, and then we've waited our four seconds, the dinosaur has spoken, so then we can say, uh, that's wrong, and then we can say try again, and basically uh, we have to do a wait block for the dinosaur, because we don't want the dinosaur and the cat to speak at the exact same time, so there's our wait block for two seconds, and then after that, uh, let's say, is it two? And then we can get the sprite to wait for another two seconds, because we don't want the sprite to say anything while the dinosaur is saying it is two. And then we can say, yes, correct. And we don't need really a wait block for the dinosaur because it is the end of the script already. So let's test the script out right now. So what's one plus one? Mm, six. And then the cat says that's wrong. Try again. And then is it two? Yes, correct. So that is our first program on s Scratch with two sprites. And you can also adjust the text or you can adjust the timing if you think uh, you can't uh, read it on time. So you can also uh, maybe wait longer so it doesn't skip immediately to the next sprite. But you can sort that out in the uh, wait block. So maybe you could do a conversation between two people introducing themselves and uh, maybe just have fun with it.
So anyway, that is going to be it for the first lesson. Uh, we are going to continue with lesson two in another video. So uh, thanks so much for watching uh, this video of the Beginner's Guide to Scratch. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't, leave a like on the video. And you can also check out the other videos if you want. And uh, I will see you uh, next time. Goodbye.